Hello and welcome back to Maths Plus. Today we have an interesting problem with fractions and exponents. So we have 1 fifth to the power of x minus 1 fifth to the power of minus x is equal to minus 5. And we're looking for 1 2 5 to the power of x minus 1 2 5 to the power of minus x. So maybe give it a try and let me know how you get on. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Now let's get started. So we're going to put the 5 with a minus 1. And we're going to use the reciprocal. And that's to the power of x. And again, 5 to the power of minus 1. And in the next case, it's minus x outside. Alright, so now we're going to bring out these values, okay, onto the outside exponents. And we're going to use the power rule. And we're going to multiply out so we get minus x for the first exponent and minus minus x, which is plus x for the second exponent. Okay, so we're going to do one more step now and we're going to switch them back to front and change the signs just to tidy it up. So we're going to go 5 to the power of x minus 5 to the power of minus x is equal to positive 5. So we're going to call this equation 1. Now let's focus on the 125. So we can replace the 125 with 5 to the power of 3. We have x outside, again, 5 to the power of 3 for the second term, and we have a minus x outside. Now we're going to bring the 3 out, and we're going to apply the power rule here. So you can see a to the power of 3, all to the power of n, is equal to a to the power of 3 in. So let's apply this. So we're going to get 5 to the power of 3x minus 5. 5 to the power of minus 3x. So we have one more step to do now, and we need to bring it back in. We need to swap this back around. So what we're doing here now is we're going to leave the 3 outside. So we're going to write 5 to the power of x only, to all to the power of 3, minus 5 to the power of x again. Okay, and we're going to put a 3 here, but we're going to bring in the negative as well. Okay, so we want the difference of two cubes. Right, so now that we have the difference of two cubes, we can express out these terms, okay, into a new arrangement. And we can get the difference, 5 to the power of x, minus 5 to the power of minus x for a minus b. Now for the a squared, well, that's going to be 5 to the power of x, all to be squared, plus a b, plus the product. So it's 5 to the power of x multiplied by 5 to the power of minus x. And again, the final term squared, so it'll be 5 to the power of minus x, all to be squared. Now we're going to concentrate on this combination here where AB and 5 to the power of x by 5 power minus x are combined. So you can see that 5 to the power of minus x is the same as 1 over 5 to the power of x. So when we multiply, we will get just 1. So we can replace this term with 1. Now remaining in the second bracket, we have 5 power of x squared plus 5 to the power of negative x all to be squared plus 1. So we're going to work on this for now. So let's replace it. And when we put it up above, we're going to get the negatives in the brackets plus an extra, plus an extra 2. So bring in the 2, okay, and replace it above. Now that we have all our values, then we can bring the 5 from equation 1 down here, down here, and plus these together. And we're going to get 5 replacing 
equation 1 and then 5 ought to be squared here and plus a 3. So that will give us 5 by 25 plus 3 which is 5 by 28 and we know that's 140. Thus our solution to the problem is 125 to the power of x minus 125 to the power of negative x is equal to 140. So I hope you enjoyed this solution. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again soon.